Pew Research has an ominous sign here for the Democratic Party. There's a sharp drop in Democratic Party favorability among Dem-leaning independents. In less than a year, we're talking about a 20-point plummet. Damn. So, yeah, take a minute and think about what's uh, been happening in the last year. Oh, I don't know. The fact that uh, the Hillary Clinton wing of the party is still hanging on for dear life to relevance to lead the party and point it in the direction that they want to point it. And they keep snubbing and putting down the real progressive grassroots, the Bernie Sanders people, the people who want Medicare for all, the people who want uh, free college, the people who want to end the wars. So you have this election where the corporate establishment candidate gets defeated and then the corporate establishment doubles down on the direction they want to go. Yeah, that's only the worst possible thing you could do, which explains perfectly why Democratic-leaning independents go, used to say, yeah, I guess um, I like the Democratic Party. They're certainly better than the Republican Party. Uh, but now there's a 20-point plummet in Dem-leaning independents saying, yeah, I guess I like the Democratic Party. Now they answer, no, I don't, because look at what they're doing. Look at what they're doing. Now, furthermore, why is it? Why is this happening? Outside of the obvious, which is the corporations, uh, you know, still controlling the Democrats, even though we should be pledging to take no corporate money, no billionaire money, and we should be principled like Justice Democrats is doing. Um, well, maybe one of the reasons they're so unpopular is stuff like this. Look at this. Do you believe that health, that should say health care, do you believe that health care is a basic human right? This is from a town hall. And uh, Representative Raul Labrador, a Democrat, says... I do not believe that healthcare is a basic human right. Gee, I can't figure out why are the Democrats not uh, not really popular nowadays. It's not just him. I'm just using this as one example because it's the most recent example. But Diane Feinstein, same thing. Yeah, you know, if uh, if single payer means government control of healthcare, then nah, I'm against it. Nah. How many examples have we seen of this, where? Uh, another one, Representative Sanchez in California, she said, um, yeah, single payer, I believe in single payer, uh, but I'm not, I don't believe in it. <laughs> I, I support single payer, but I'm not, I'm not going to support it. I'll take a look at it, but I'm not, I'm not going to support it. Why? Well, you know, it's, uh, we don't have the numbers right now. So? Could you imagine Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? You know, civil rights, voting rights, I support it, but I don't uh, support it right now. Why? Well, we don't have the numbers. I mean, it's not uh, majority popular in, in Congress, so what, what am I... No, you know what you do? You fight. You fight because that's the right thing. Like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, the time is always right to do what's right. But that they're taking the opposite approach. No, it's not always right, and in fact, I don't want to do what's right. Let me do the opposite, because doing what's right is hard, and it would mean going against our donors. Because that's what they are. They're corporate Democrats. They're listening to Big Pharma. They're listening to the private health insurance companies. They're doing exactly what the Republicans do. Guess what? Nobody's going to vote for you when you're Republican light. I mean, think about how obnoxious that is. You run a Republican light candidate, you lose, and then you come out, you know, uh, immediately after and say, we need to be even more Republican light. You want to start winning? Here's the path to victory. It's the Justice Democrats' path. You immediately come out and say, guess what? We don't take any corporate money. We don't take any PAC money. We don't take any billionaire money anymore. That's it. No more big money donors. We go directly to the people. We go directly to the people. We go to regular people, working people, raising small money amounts. And then guess what? Even that's not long term because our ultimate goal is to get money out of politics and have clean elections by law. So that's what you say. You say that's step number one. And the corruption. We're going to take money from regular people so we are beholden to regular people. If you take money from Walmart, if you take money from Citigroup, if you take money from Raytheon, you're going to be beholden to big corporations, to hedge funds, to financial institutions, to banks, to the military industrial complex. We raise from the regular people, we support regular people, and then what? 
You say, oh, by the way, 60% of the American people now want Medicare for all. We support Medicare for all. We're not going to buckle on this. This is a non-negotiable. Yeah, we have a purity test. One of those things is, do you support Medicare for all? If you don't, step aside. We're not interested in you. Yeah, we support free college. Of course, if Slovenia can do free college, we can do free college. We're going to spend $7 trillion on a war in Iraq, an unnecessary war, an offensive war against a country that didn't attack us, and then we're going to turn around and tell young Americans, no, we can't afford to send you to college. We lost the money. We don't even know what happened to the money. <laughs> don't look. Support Medicare for all, support free college, support a living wage, make the minimum wage a living wage tied to inflation, no more nation building, end the drug war, free all the nonviolent drug offenders. If you're principled and you fight for the things that the American people believe in, legalize marijuana, 60% want to legalize it, guess what? They're going to vote for you and you're going to win and you're going to implement what you want to implement. We just need a principled Democratic Party. The answer is justicedemocrats.com. Go sign your name and support right now.